What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Udo X86 Advanced Plus. I'm running Ubuntu, and I want to test out RetroPie X86 on this board. This is the Advanced Plus with the Celeron 3160 at 1.6 GHz. It does turbo up to 2.3, 4 GB of DDR3 RAM. The GPU is an integrated Intel HD 400. Let's go ahead and start up RetroPie. Before we get started here, this board is going to run any of the old school emulators that the Raspberry Pi 3 can run. It will run them flawlessly. PlayStation, 32X, SNES, NES, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, all of those are going to run fine on here. What I wanted to test was emulators that don't play well on the Pi 3, like the N64. And it doesn't play well on here either. I've tried changing the core to... I've tested all of them that are built in, and we still have really horrible performance with N64. So even on my 4.5 GHz i7 with a GTX 1070 GPU, Mupin still runs like crap. It does run better than it does on the Pi 3 or this board here, but in my opinion, it's really not playable. I prefer using Project 64 with Windows. It does work a little better. Some games don't even boot up, but the games that do work run at 60 FPS flawlessly. It's not a good sign when you try to start a game and the sound is glitching out like this. This actually runs worse on this board than it does on the Raspberry Pi 3. Now keep in mind I have tried every core that's built into Retro Pi and it still runs like butt. The sound won't stop glitching so I'm actually going to turn it off now because it's super annoying. Using an Xbox One S controller to play all of these games, and the lag is so bad on this game, I can hardly aim. I press the button and about a second later he shoots. I've tested about six games and all of them run like that. The sound is just so choppy. It's not even worth trying them. Next up, Dreamcast. It won't boot. It uses recast and recast is notorious for being horrible on x86 CPUs. It's really made for ARM, so this will work on ARM boards or Android phones. And yes, I am 100% sure I have the correct BIOS for recast, it just won't boot on this board. Sega Saturn. Tried Yobasi and Beetle, they don't work. I cannot get Beetle to boot on this board. Yobasi just goes straight to the BIOS screen. Not sure what's going on. Somebody might be able to fix it down the road, but I've tried Yobasi on Windows, and it runs like crap. So I really doubt we'll get better performance out of the LR version. PlayStation works great on this board. PlayStation works great on the Raspberry Pi 3. Nintendo GameCube. This uses Dolphin. I've tested this on Windows, and I'll leave a link in the description to that video. The only game that runs fine is Super Mario Sunshine at 30 FPS. Everything else runs horrible. The board just doesn't have the power to run Dolphin. I'll start Soul Calibur 2 so you can see how it performs. Everything within the Dolphin settings is on the lowest you can go. This works great on my i5 with integrated HD 4600 graphics, but this board just can't handle it. The FPS is listed up in the top left hand corner. Battle 1 Fight! 
So GameCube is out of the question using the UDU x86. We'll try out PSP. Now this uses LR PPSSPP. Same thing as the PPSSPP for Windows or Linux. I also tested this in my Windows video. You're going to run into some games that work really well at 1 to 3x resolution, and then there are games that won't run at all. You have God of War, Arctic Edge, and Midnight Club. So those are really problematic games for the PSP emulator, and they just do not perform well on this board at all. On Little Big Planet, you become a delightful little sack person. This is you. Your analog stick is your advancing implement. It moves you through the levels at the speed best suited to you. An ability to jump so high you defy the laws of gravity is a must-have accessory in Little Big Planet, and your action button will furnish you with this. So that was just one game for PSP, but all the other ones that I have up there, like Kingdom Hearts, Power Stone, they all run great on this emulator. Here's my outlook on this. If you have a Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie, go ahead and stick with it. Do not try to upgrade to the UDU. Even the Ultra is not going to perform any better within GameCube. I can 100% guarantee you this. It's not worth upgrading for a little better performance in SNES, because the Pi 3 already runs those emulators really good. And if you're trying to upgrade just to run Dolphin or Saturn, this board will not do it. Stick with your Raspberry Pi 3. It's the way to go. If you already have a PC, you could run RetroPie x86 on it. Even a fourth generation i3 with at least an HD 4600 GPU will run Dolphin and Saturn pretty good. At the lowest settings, I get stellar performance. 60 FPS in Dolphin, 60 FPS in Sega Saturn. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.